Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Whoever is watching this. Yeah. Mm. My name is Suwapat, or you can call me Ice. My uh, name is Hyunwoo Kim. You can just call me by my last name, Kim. And we are from Assumption, uh, Assumption University, University in Thailand. Yeah. Yes, and but uh, she's from Thailand, I'm from Korea, but I just study at the same university as her. And we're an yes. exchange student at Han, Han University, University of Applied Sciences here in Arnhem, Netherlands. Yeah, uh, and we won't... How, how do you... How do you like the course here? Well, I think it's been a very uh, helpful, like practical course on supply chain management for the past three weeks. Yeah, yeah we go. We went to the excursion, a lot of excursion yeah. relating to the course. Uh, we we're, we're like maybe we could like list out the places we visited. Uh, was it? We went know. to the container terminal. Yeah, yeah. For, on the first week, we went to the port of Rotterdam, the yeah. largest port in Europe, all of Europe. And it's really good. Like yeah. you can see, aut fully automated. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially the containers. the AGVs. I think it was automatic guided vehicles. They were like unmanned. Like they were transporting the containers by themselves without anyone driving them. Yeah, which was pretty interesting. Yeah. Hmm. And then we had a lot of excursion, even not relating to the course, but that's a very interesting place to go for ours. And the trip to the Hague. No, was it? Did no, you go? I didn't go. Oh, I didn't go. Okay. Yeah, how was it? Yeah, it was uh, it was a guided tour by one of the instructors or person in charge here at Han University. We went to the Hague city, which is the political capital of Netherlands, even though technically people consider Amsterdam to be the capital because it's the largest city. But all the government buildings and offices are there, the Hague, and right next to it, we went, also went to the Delft city, which is a very old, uh, has an old history, a very traditional like architecture and stuff on the streets. Yeah, it was very interesting, that okay. trip as well. Yeah, it yeah. was a yeah. It depended on which weekend you wanted to go. We had a, like a took a survey beforehand coming here before coming here. Yeah. Yeah, and the staff here is really they're really nice, right? Everybody can mm. speak English. Apparently. Yeah, especially the infrastructure here is very nice. Yeah. The public transportation is very nice. What else? Yeah. Also. Like, I'd say like 90% of all Dutch people can't speak English fluently. You're not going to have a problem communicating with others if you can't speak Dutch you know, when you come here. He was, a, yeah, he was very nice to us, very kind. Uh, he actually, I'd say he's the best in, uh, instructor that we've have had over the three weeks that we studied here. Like we also had several uh, guest, speak, uh, guest lecturers from countries like Argentina and uh, I'd assume other lecturers here from Netherlands. So I think Eric uh, Eric actually taught us most of our classes. Yeah. Yeah, he was a very, very nice teacher. Yeah. And the curriculum is not just from the theory or the book. They actually had an experience in the field before. So whatever we have learned is from the real one. It's not that they just came up with the theories oh, and we yeah. just follow it. We we actually saw what they did. No, no, we didn't see, but like we can understand. Yeah, we learned from their experiences because yeah. they actually uh, helped us with, like organize the program in such a way that we can learn practical skills that we, we may actually be able to use one day when we, if we are to work on the logistics field. Like for the lead time reducing game, we yeah. use like Lego blocks. It was kind of like a, well, if you took took a look at it from the outside of the classroom and might look like we're playing with toys but actually it we you actually what we learned, learned something yeah, from exactly. that exactly mm. it's not just like practical a exercise yeah sort of a game but also a learning experience as well yeah, yeah we met a lot of nationalities here in mm. our class like yeah a lot lots of people from many many countries like australia some south america countries like colombia uh african countries south africa well where else uh, australia some, you mentioned that. Uh, yeah, I mentioned already. Uh, some East Asian countries, uh, China, Japan, Korea. Well, they're from our university, so we yeah. already knew them, but where else? Yeah. Oh, India as well. Yeah, lots of uh, guys from India in other or other course. course. Yeah, European business and culture, uh, European culture and business entrepreneurship. Yeah. Would you recommend the others? I mean, the Stu like, future students uh, to come for here. this program, of course. Like, yeah, it's just three so weeks, far. and it's like so much interesting. Mm. Yeah, like, because it, well, from what we've heard, it's supposed to be actually a twelve-week course, but it's a condensed down into packed into three weeks. So it's a 
even though it's just a brief period, uh, there's so much like actually you can absorb and learn during this short time period. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely recommend it for other students who may actually be considering to apply for this program maybe next year or this upcoming winter uh, course, winter semester. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. And you can actually get the credit back to your university. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. if you can like mine, like mm -hmm. our course. Yeah, we actually got three credits for this uh, this exchange program because it's considered to be a whole uh, one subject, which normally takes around four months if we take yeah. it during a regular <laughs> semester back home. Yeah, yeah it's definitely beneficial. Or if they have the other one, the other course is called entrepreneurship something? Uh, no, it's a seminar in regional studies. Yeah. Okay, like cultural studies. Yeah, basically. yeah, cultural studies. You can choose that as an elective subject. Mm, yeah, if you are from Assumption University, that is. Yeah. Or if you're in IBM, we, which we're studying right now, it's Global Supply Chain Management. Yeah, you can take that as well, depending on which one you want to take credit for. Yeah. And the campus is really nice. Like, mm. Really, really nice. Should we like... Pick up the camera and show it around. Like the I will hallway. take a picture. Actually, during the weekends, mm. we had our some times to to explore the city by ourselves or with the program. Oh yeah, we actually have the option. Like, since we had three week, uh, the course was over three weeks. So in between those three weeks, we had two weekends that would fall uh, fell within the time period of the course. So you can either choose to go to the uh, group tour to the Hay on either one of the two weekends or if you don't want to go at all it's all up to you you can just like uh, not go to either week and just organize your own trip by yourself or with uh, any friends you can make here or maybe someone that you already knew who lives in Europe or uh, the Netherlands nearby yeah. yeah since she is everything is so close like other countries and you can just get a train and then go to like Germany, France, Belgium, very close. Yeah, especially like Germany, uh, well, what else, what's the city called? Dusseldorf. It's yeah, like it's only two hours by train. Yeah. yeah, it's very close. Like, it's a, You can visit a lot of countries. Yeah, centrally yeah, located so. within Western Europe. So, Yeah, yeah it's a very good opportunity to travel all across Europe as well, if you're interested in that. Yeah. So we just recommend you mm, to come here. Definitely, yeah. Goodbye. Uh, bye. <laughs> so we just say bye together. Bye. bye.